formula which is filled with essential vitamins and is perfect for anyone who does not want caffeine. Both formulas also come in amazing flavors like sour blue raspberry, gummy bears, peach rings, pretty much any flavor you can think of they probably have. It's so easy to just mix with some water and you're good to go. So if you want to check out Cheap Fuel for yourself you can use the link in the description box and make sure you use the code if you commented and said if I was going to play the Love Island game that I should play the second one because it's a lot better. So I've played the original but I haven't played this one. Please tell me I can change like my hair because I'm not living for this. What's your name? B.O.B. So they calling you Bob. You know. <laughs> I'm going to get myself big old lips because I feel like
cheeky smile. James, that's one twist I was expecting. Honestly, you look incredible tonight. Okay, giving like dad, like hipster dad, not really my type, but I'm sure we can be besties, James, no problem. James looks a bit unsure of himself, but he catches your eye and smiles at you happily. Oh my days, I literally fell on the floor when you turned up. I'm Kobe. Kobe. Okay, Kobe's like cute. Like, I'm not mad at it. I'm not mad at it. <laughs> Hasim. Oh my god. I forgot they're supposed to be wearing like sexy outfits. I'm like, why is he wearing a cowboy hat? I swear, I don't know what to look this evening. Oh, Hasim. He's got that fresh cut. Like, his hair is on a but probably not for me because I don't like facial hair. Hasim shrugs. Your phone beeps and the boys fall silent. I've got a text. I need to announce it to everyone. Oh. Shout it out, duh. Act like we've never even seen the show. You cup your hands around your mouth. Oh, I got a text. <laughs> James pretends to put his hands over his ears. James, you're giving me the X. Stop doing that. The whole continent heard that, I reckon. We'll never miss a text at this rate. But why are these men roasting me? You're supposed to be, like, grafting, like, flirting with me. Will leans back, watching you. Yeah, look at Will keeping his mouth shut. He said, don't leave us hanging. Read it out. Haley, it's your turn to test your moves against the competition. You have time for three dances. Choose the lucky lads whose heart you want to set racing. Hashtag takes three to tango. Hashtag get down and dirty. You're all coupled up, right? Yeah. But it's only been two days. We're not, like, married or anything. Want to what Nashuma thinks of you saying that? Will spreads his hands. She gets it. Things are pretty casual with us right now. That's not what she said yesterday. Look, I'm not scared of Nashuma. I'll take her man. I don't care. So I'll be dancing for the boys right under the girls' noses. Um, I'm in this to win it. I'm not here to make seasonal girlfriends. This is perfect. This way the girls will be able to see who's boss. Me. So who's gonna be first then? I hope it's me. I mean, it is you, Will. Congratulations. It's Will. Will's face lights up as you approach him. He leans forward eagerly. His sparkling eyes meet yours. Give him an eyeful. Yeah. Maybe I won't do anything to you. It's time to look, not touch. Oh, I thought... Oh. I didn't mean to choose that, but whatever. Will looks you up and down. I'm well up for that. With your eyes locked with his, you start to dance, moving your hands teasingly up your body. He fans himself as he watches, <laughs> and when the music fades, he pretends to faint. Is it me, or is it getting all up in here? You strut back to the fire pit. That's my first dance down. I've got time for two more. I'll dance with... No one. I'm finished. <laughs> Show's over, boys. The other... I said no. No means 
means no. Love Island game. Damn. No means no. I don't fancy a private dance right now. James sighs and looks away. I, it was never going to be you, James, so I don't even know why you're mad. Turn that frown upside down. Maybe there'll be another girl coming into the villa. <laughs> Will's like, you can be with the next one. This one's mine. Maybe. James looks in the direction you came from. There's no one there. For a second, the guys are quiet. Then you hear a girl's voice. <gasps> oh, it's Najuma. Okay, I thought it was like another bombshell. I was like, I want to be the only one. I thought you were amazing. One of the girls thought I was amazing. Oh my gosh. Thank you, mystery voice. You're welcome. So have you got a name? Are we going to talk like this the whole night? A girl races down from the roof terrace out of breath. Hey, I'm Najuma. Can I couple up with Najuma instead? <laughs> She's gorgeous. Crush me with those thighs, Miss Ma'am. Us girls were watching everything on the roof terrace. I saw you. Yeah, and we definitely saw you. We're meant to stay up there while you do your thing. But you know, rules are made to be broken. She gets like kicked off the show. The producers are like, you gotta get the fuck out of here. Okay, actually you're legally obligated <laughs> to follow the rules. Seeing you dance, total bombshell material. She grins at you. So now I'm down here. Do you reckon I could have a cheeky dance too? Oh. Oh my god. Nashuma. <laughs> Since you were so great at it with Will. She looks at Will and winks at him. He shrugs. What can I say? We said we'd keep things light, didn't we? Nashuma rolls her eyes but laughs it off. She seems more into me than Will. Can we blame her? Do I dance with Nashuma? Yes, bitch. Yes. She quickly starts dancing up close to you. She's enthusiastic. She almost steps on your toe. <laughs> She's trying her best. Maybe a bit too enthusiastic. She links her arms around your neck and lowers her voice. I'll try not to step on your foot this time. But I warn you, I'm clumsy when I'm nervous. Okay, is this bisexual love island? Because I'm here for it. I've been wanting them to do like a bisexual season. Or, you know, just a season that isn't all straight people. Am I making you nervous? Her gaze drifts to your mouth. Maybe a little bit. In a good way. Totally. That got my heart going for sure. I mean, like, literally, how am I supposed to choose between these two? Will and Najuma. Yeah, from fear of falling over. She sticks out her tongue at him. I'm fearless, babe. You tell him. Oh my god, Lexi. Why are the girls so much hotter than the guys? Actually, I know why. I don't even think I need to answer that question. Hey, Najuma, stop keeping the new girl all to yourself. Three girls rush down from the roof terrace. I'm Lexi. Lexi, 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 the sexy. Sorry, I just needed to reapply. We totally have to find out all about you. I'm Haley. Lexi puts an arm around her shoulder and steers you away from the boys. Come on, Haley. It's time for a girl out Lexi wants to have a girl at all. Yes, I do want to. I want to meet all the girlies, all the girly bobs. Oh, that's what we like to hear. Come on over. Haley certainly got hearts racing with that entrance, and it looks like some of the girls have got something to say about it. The girls out all around you on the lawn. I totally thought that there'd be a new girl, didn't I? Did you? I thought you told Kobe you thought it'd be a guy. I must have misheard. Anyway, I'm Angie. Angie's here to stir the pot. She said, I don't think that's what you said, stupid. Okay, Angie. Yeah, she's cute or whatever. She needs a better haircut, though. I don't know if this haircut's doing her any favors. Angie looks you up and down. So, you're the girl who's going to shake things up. Yes, call me Zendaya, bitch. Because this is shake it up. Wonder what James thought of you. Oh, and don't get fierce over her when she's only just arrived. Nah, I'm not being funny. Just saying that I can see why the guys might have the heads dead. Angie thinks I'll turn 
it's like you're wearing quarter sleeves like you're like what do you mean you don't you look fine <laughs> oh and you're so funny thanks Lex I don't like Angie I've decided I don't like her so what's your type Haley got your eye on anyone Angie wants to know about my type um someone who will treat me right because I'm a diamond and you better take sees me and understands where I'm coming from. I want to be with someone who wants to make me feel good. Angie laughs. Don't we all? Girl, you better bibbity bobbity back the fuck up. The other girl hasn't said anything yet. She steps forward. I wanted to say, oh my gosh, she's so cute. I thought your moves were amazing. I'm Thabby, by the way. Okay, I love that.
appreciation. But guys, I got a text. Well, it's distracted by the girls. Maybe I should just read it myself then. No, no, read us the text. Islanders, it's time to reveal the results of the heart rate challenge and find out who made heart rates the fastest. The top three contenders will receive their texts in reverse order. Hashtag eyes on the prize. Hashtag wait for it. We're probably like not even close to because we only danced with one person, but it's me. Well, you are in third place. You went all out and made Thabby's heart race with your moves. Hashtag dancing queen. Hashtag mermaid love. Oh yeah. He gets up and does a victory shimmy. Thabby giggles shyly. I was just excited about doing my dance next. Oh Thabby, don't take this away from me. It's my first time being name checked in a challenge. It's only third place. Yeah, but I got my name on a text and everything. I'll print it out and frame it on my mantelpiece. <laughs> right next to my wings. That's me. Oh, Lexi is in second place. Your feline grace got Kobe truly hot under the collar. Hashtag cat who's got the cream. Hashtag meow. Oh, uh, Kobe puts his arm around her. You were great though, babe. Second place is a good place to be. Lexi snuggles up to him. Is she really that mad that she only got second? Like, girl. Oh, you're so right, on. I was just hoping you'd be even more excited about my moves. Keep the outfit and we can have our own private show. Sorry. Oh, my word. Get a room. So who's first? The silence falls over the fire pit. You wait and wait. It's me. <laughs> this shit's rigged. Haley, you made a certain boy's heart race more than anyone else and have therefore won the challenge. That boy's name is Will. Me and Will are already a power couple, what can I say? What? Will grins at you, his eyes sparkling. Congratulations, Haley. Those moves were amazing. I won. Damn right I did. Haley smashed her first day in the villa. She's the toast of the town tonight. She's the cat's pajamas, the bee's knees, the dog's... You get the idea. Next stop, it's time for Haley to get up close and personal with the islanders. Are the couples as solid as they seem? She's clearly not into me. What hot gossip will she dig up? That girl's got bad energy. And will she make a connection with a special someone? You broke up. Come back soon to find out. Welcome back. Previously on, a new islander made quite an entrance. I'm Ailey. Nice to meet you all. And one boy seemed to take an instant fancy to her. Congratulations, Ailey. There's silence around the fire pit as everyone stands in shock after the text. Well, I think we all saw that coming. He gives you a quick wink. I bet Najuma didn't. Nah, I totally did, babe. She, su she shoots you a flirty look. Look, Najuma doesn't even care that I like Will, okay, Lexi? So I don't know why you care. Like, look at him. I raised Will's heart rate the most. It was all going to plan. I gave Will's dance a little extra. Oops. And by that, I mean he's the only person I actually really gave a dance to. What do you have to say for yourself, Will? So, if I came third and helped the winner come first, that basically means I win. Najuma books him playfully on the shoulder. Mate, I don't think that's how it works. The text said, I don't need my victory validated by a text. I know my words. <laughs> Period king. Lexi grabs Kobe's hand. We're going to have a private chat now. No interruptions, please. Angie lets out a low whistle as she watches them leave. Come on, I fancy a drink after all that. Oh, I'm coming with, as long as you're making cocktails. Sure am. Count me in. Anyone else? Haley. I'm like, are you making mojitos? Because if so, I'm there. Hasim puts an arm around Thabby and the three of them split off towards the kitchen. Yeah, I need to go take care of something, actually. I wonder what he's up to. He heads off towards the villa. Nezuma turns to Will. Come on, you. Let's go have that chat, yeah? Sure. They wander off without another word. You spot Thabby smiling at you from the kitchen. She starts waving you over. Mm, Thabby is beckoning me over to the kitchen, but then it might also be fun to interrupt Kobe and Lexi's chat. Plus, Najima, Will, and James are all being very mysterious. All these beautiful people waiting to chat to me. I mean, none of them are really waiting to chat for you except Thabby, but whatever. Choosing who I spend time with is going to be a big part of my time in the villa. Where should I start? I mean, I don't care about anyone but Nishuma and Will, so we'll start there. You emerge onto the mild evening. 
pretty sure they're both interested in me. Want to make a throuple? Where should I sit? Um, in between them, duh. You squish in between Nishuma and Will. Nishuma grins. Oh, chaotic. I like it. Will glances at you, but doesn't look surprised. You came in at a good time. Yeah. Yeah, we just broke up. She beams at you. <laughs> you seem very happy about that. Will shrugs. It's only been like a few days. Besides, why is breaking up really except for getting one step closer to the one? Nashuma gives you a pointed look. Yeah, he's always like that. So, uh, what happened? Take a guess. She points to Will, who's staring serenely up at the clouds. I need a partner who's on planet Earth, babe. Someone who actually pays attention. Will doesn't pay Nashuma enough attention. I kind of like that. <laughs> It's kind of cool, don't you think? Yeah, when you're a teenager. I'm sorry, I'm a Pisces bitch. My head's always in the clouds. Oh, he never pays attention to me. What a hunk. I'm looking for someone with a bit more presence. Each to their own. The breakup is making a lot more sense now. Yeah, anyway, let's talk about something actually interesting. Your entrance, babe. It was like iconic. I'm still reeling from your dance, if I'm honest. Really? Nashuma fans herself. I get a bit sweaty just thinking about it. You must have been so excited. Yeah, I was. Um, really hyped to get in there. Time to kiss some boys and make some noise. Only boys. Wait, don't answer that question. None of my business. She slings her arm around you. Weird, it feels like I've known you for a thousand years already. Alexa, play a thousand years by Christina Perry. How old are you? She laughs. Only 24, babe. I don't know, you've got this nice energy. Nashuma thinks I have nice energy. You have good energy too. Nashuma wiggles her arms like she's pushing her energy towards you. Take my good vibes. You pretend to put the vibes in your pockets. <laughs> what the fuck? I've got them. Excellent. You're gonna breeze through vibe checks from now on. She gives you a sultry smile, brown eyes smoldering through her thick lashes. So that dance you gave me. Was that a platonic sexy dance? Or, you know, a sexy, sexy dance? It was a mix of the two. Nashuma smiles. Well, that's something at least. Will looks between you both and smirks. Awkward. I thought you weren't listening. I'm not that aloof. I'm like at least a little aloof. Nashuma shoves him lightly. Suddenly, Will's eye, intense eyes meet yours. I'm struggling to read. Oh my goodness. I really enjoyed my dance. Good. His mouth tips up at one corner small smile. Well, aren't we a big love triangle? Nishima all swells up by the arm. Come on, pretty boy. You said you'd teach me how you got your nails like that. Fine. She pulls off towards the dressing room, turning around to give you a wink before the door closes behind them. Will is just giving me, like, bi wife energy. Like, I'm the bi wife to Will, you know. I don't know. What do you guys think? Comment below. Right now, my main contenders are Will and Nishuma, but I don't know who I like more. That was only the second weirdest breakup I've ever sat next to. I'll go find someone else to chat to. Where should I go now? Um, I want the tea, so let's go see what... Is it James up here? You wander into the bedroom. Oh, wow. There's a row of perfectly made beds in front of you with soft, clean sheets and fluffy pillows. I'm going to sleep in a room with eight other people tonight. The more the merrier, fuck it. I like a little conversation before bed. You all your suitcase up onto your bed and start unpacking a few things. You hear rustling besides you and suddenly realize James is in the room with you, tucked into one of the beds. Is he just taking a nap? <laughs> oh. Oh, hey Haley. I didn't realize you were in here. He gets out from beneath the covers and gives you a smile. We're both trained in the art of stealth, I guess. Ha, <sighs> yeah. He nods, interrupts his neck. So, you like the bedroom? It looks so cozy, but I was just thinking about sleeping in a room with eight other people. Yeah, it takes some getting used to. I was wide awake the first night just listening to Kobe's snores. Snoring is 
disappointed you didn't dance with me, if I'm honest. I mean, of course, you should never do anything you don't want to do. Okay, consensual king. But yeah, James wishes that I danced with him. Um, I just didn't want to. <laughs> I'm sorry, James, you're going in the friend zone. I just wasn't feeling like it. No, that's fine. I get that. No pressure. You put some of your clothes in the wardrobe. James sits down on the edge of one of the beds. So, how are you settling in so far? How am I settling in? Uh, pretty well, I think. Everyone's really nice. I'm starting to get used to it already. That's good. The door to the bedroom opens suddenly. Angie pops her head round. Oh, sorry to interrupt. I was gonna get changed, but I'll do it later. It's okay, Angie. No, no worries. She gives you a wink. I'll let you two get on. James looks at you and smiles sheepishly. Sorry, that was kind of awkward. You'd never guess we were in a couple, would you? He plays with the edge of the duvet. Things between him and Angie don't look very romantic. Ask about it. It's not going well. James laughs without humor. Is it obvious? A little. Like this evening when she was dancing, she barely spent a second with me. And when she did, it was more of a friendship dance. Oh yeah, your casual, friendly lap dance. <laughs> James smirks. I don't know, I just don't think that she's in that into me. Sometimes I think there's something there, but then I doubt myself. I just want to find someone I have a real connection with. He looks at you, then quickly looks away. James is definitely giving me signals. Things with him and Angie are uncertain. No one would blame me. Should I kiss him? Fuck no, what? I'm friend zoning him. You keep your hands to yourself. James looks like he's going to say something, then thinks better of it. Did you have fun dancing tonight? James smiles and hides his face with his hands. Can you tell I'm not a natural dancer? I'm so glad you weren't there to see the dance I did for Angie. Was it that bad? I don't think we'd be sitting here if you'd seen it. I was all elbows. It was like I could see the light slowly leave her eyes. He shakes his head. It can't have been that bad. Your moves certainly had me convinced tonight. Maybe I'll have to demand a recreation at some point. Well, I'd have to get an awful lot in return. Well, I'm gonna go chat to some more people. Where should I go now? I don't want to talk to that other girl, so let's go have cocktails with the gang. You approach the kitchen where Thabby is still waving at you, if a little less enthusiastically. Wow, Thabby, you're still waving. Doesn't your arm hurt? Yeah, it really does. <laughs> she stops and cradles it for a moment. I just want you to feel welcome, hon. Tabby and Angie sit on the counter. Azim makes a few cocktails. Fancy a drink, Ailey. Azim is offering me a cocktail. Yes, please. He adds another he adds another glass to the lineup. Thanks, Azim. Oh, it's my pleasure. He's the cocktail guy around here. I mean, it's not the best reputation I have, but I'll take it. What would be the best reputation to have? He thinks for a moment. The good guy. Oh, boring. Come on, Azim, there's more to you than that. What do you think, Ailey? What's the fresh perspective on all, Azim? I think you're the... Cocktail guy. Azim throws up his hands. When will I ever escape this box you have put me in? I have lots of things to offer. But no, now I'm the cocktail guy. Thabby sips her drink, but I answer back to him. Cocktail guy needs more mixer. Azim adds more lemonade glumly while Thabby giggles. Come on, let's go sit down somewhere. They walk off towards the bean bags and you follow. You settle yourself down on a bean bag. Tabby's having trouble maneuvering her mermaid outfit. Ugh, this thing is cute, but I can't, like, bend. Eventually, she finds a comfortable position. There. Now, don't 
face twists itself into a sweet smile. Hey, babe. 